Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Bruja Lily Tarot. Today I am doing your money and career reading for August 2020. Okay guys, let's see what we got here for you guys. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for Aquarius, for those who are watching, on money and career for August 2020. What messages does Aquarius need to hear for money and career for August 2020? All right, Aquarius. Okie dokie. Thanks for all your shares, your likes, your subscribes. I really appreciate it all. All right, let's see what we got here. Let me pull five cards. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. Awesome. All right. So with the Chariot, we know it's about fast movement forward, determination to move forward. And I think you have this determination to move forward away from this Nine of Swords energy, which is typically, you know, is related to anxiety, worrying, sleepless nights, things like that. So... Perhaps in your money and career situation, you're trying to get away from this, trying to get away from anxiety and sleepless nights, probably in re with regards to money. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. In the first position is your current financial situation. This is the Confucius card. In the regular tarot deck, it's the Judgment card. Okay, so in the in your current financial situation you might be coming into you might be coming into an awakening of some sort okay maybe with respect to yourself or your current situation or in terms of your money okay since this is a money and career reading you might just be be feeling more enlightened about yourself or enlightened about who you are in your current position okay um, let's read what the book says about this. All right, it says, The teachings of Confucius emphasize benevolence, a sense of duty, sincerity, justice, and wisdom. The philosophy is based on the tenet that the, uni that the universe and humanity are regulated by a moral order. Atonement, judgment, self-perspective, rejuvenation, rebirth, improvement, development, promotion. So you might be, you know, maybe you're you're coming to a certain realization about you know, your, your moral situation in terms of money and career. Okay. Um, maybe you're also just kind of realizing your sense of duty, um, in terms of the type of work that you do. That's also a possibility here. Okay. Now let's see where the new sources of income are going to come from is the six of cups. Okay. So with the six of cups, um, this is typically about, you know, uh, past friendships, nostalgia of some sort. So it could be that your new sources of income are going to come from past influences. Okay. It could either be past relationship, past coworkers, past bosses, uh, you know, just past situations in the past in, sorry to be so uh, redundant, but it could also be maybe other work that you have had before. You're going to be doing this again. That's a possibility. Okay. Um, so it's definitely going to come from a source. The new is going to come from a past source that you are very familiar with, that you uh, have either been a part of before, um, that you know very well, and that you're very familiar with, okay? You're very familiar with this energy, so it's it's going to be a new source of income for you, even though you're very familiar with it, okay? Now, um, what opportunities do you need to consider is the Eight of Cups, okay? The Eight of Cups is usually about walking away from something, right? So the new sources of income that you need to consider are perhaps things that you've walked away from in the past, okay? Maybe you were given an opportunity in the past, maybe you were offered a job in the past, and maybe you, it didn't seem to fulfill your expectations or your desires at the time or what you wanted. Uh, but maybe for some reason, these things are gonna be offered to you again, or these opportunities are gonna be presented to you again. So with the Eight of Cups, what I'm getting here is that you wanna consider those opportunities that you have rejected in the past, 
okay? You could have rejected them for many reasons. Uh, you know, maybe you didn't like the boss. Maybe you didn't like the way you were treated in the past in this particular situation. Maybe the money wasn't enough. Uh, maybe you didn't feel appreciated enough in this particular environment. This is... This card in this position right now is just telling me that you want to consider those opportunities again. And why do you want to consider them? Um, how will it benefit you is the Seven of Swords, okay? The Seven of Swords is typically kind of like a sneaky energy, kind of like a sly energy, okay? But it can also be a, a, a card about courage and bravery, Okay, so perhaps what this is saying here is that when you consider these opportunities that you've rejected in the past, it's going to benefit you because it's going to put you in a position where you're going to be feeling brave and courageous again. Okay, so that's very interesting. Let's see what the outcome is going to be is the Ten of Coins. Yeah, so the Ten of Coins is about having it all right, having happy home, happy family happy environment, feeling totally fulfilled, having enough abundance. It's also about forming a legacy. You could be forming a legacy for yourself or for your family. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that, um, you know, you have come to an understanding for yourself currently, or you will be coming into under this understanding in the month of August, where you understand your sense of duty in the world. OK, you've kind of have realized what you need to do in terms of, you know, your career path or maybe how you serve others or how you are of service to others is what I'm getting here, that you've kind of come to this realization that this is this is what you were called to do. OK, now the new sources of income are going to come from familiar situations that you've been in before and that would make sense with the eight of cups because um, you've rejected this before in the past okay um, you've rejected it you've walked away from it because you didn't think it was something that you wanted but this is actually the opportunity that's coming to you again okay now if you consider the, those opportunities that are coming to you it's going to make you feel um, you know, I said courageous and brave, but at the same time, it might make you feel sneaky. Okay. I don't know why it might, what's, why it's going to make you feel sneaky. Maybe there's something about this situation in the past where, uh, maybe things didn't end well. Okay. Maybe there was a coworker involved or a boss involved or some sort of partnership involved in, in this situation where perhaps things, that's why you walked away. Um, you walked away from the situation because something didn't end well. So you might feel, you know, like I said, a little bit sneaky or like you're trying to get away with something when you when you accept this offer. But you also want to remember that um, there's a certain bravery and courageousness in, in you doing that. OK, in um, accepting this offer that's coming. OK. Um, because the, again, the 10 of coins is, is your outcome here for August, 2020. So it's obviously, you know, just this feeling of accepting this offer is just like a minor issue, or it's just like a minor, uh, difficulty that you have to deal with because ultimately like it says here it's it's the ten of coins okay let me read what the seven of uh swords says in the book okay in this book it says three men and a woman battle with swords divinatory meanings new plans wishes fortitude perseverance hope confidence fantasy partial success so yeah so you're gonna feel you know like it says this certain this sense of of confidence right that bravery that confidence you're also gonna feel a sense of of hope and the ability to be able to persevere if when you accept this opportunity okay and that's also revealed in the ten of coins there all right let's see what we got here so oh there it is okay intuition Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers or invest money. Okay, there we go. I had already pre-shuffled these cards for you. So um, why don't we see if something else comes since that one came so quickly there. 
Intuition. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill. There it is. Okay. Planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. There you go. Financial gains are more than likely with the Ten of Coins. Absolutely. Okay. Now let's draw a card from the success oracles here for you. Now keep in mind with these success oracles, there's a variety of people that are represented in these. Okay. Let's take the message as that resonates for you. You may or may not like the person who comes up. I would just take it as a message. Okay. Please give us one card for Aquarius on this money and career reading for August 2020. My light here keeps going dark for some reason. I'm not really quite sure. Oh, there it is. Okay. Cher Wang. Actually, Cancer also got this for their August 2020 reading. It says, compete in the market, not the spotlight. Enough about me. Tomorrow's breakthrough starts day to day. Interesting. All right. Compete in the market, not the spotlight. Enough about me. Tomorrow's breakthrough starts day to day. So, you know, I think that the breakthrough is in the day to day work, obviously, as it says here and enough about me. So, you know, that's also telling me not to get up, caught up too much about you in, in the work environment, but maybe perhaps make it more about the work. But let's see what the book says about this. All right, Sher Wang, born into a tech dynasty, Sher Wang made her own name and fortune in chipsets and electronics. As co-founder, chair, and hands-on CEO of Taiwanese company HTC, Wang entered the smartphone showdown in the early 2000s, earning HTC a place among pricier rivals until recent declines. Today, HTC tries on new hats and VR headsets, investing in emerging electronics and signing a billion dollar deal with Google. Wang avoids attention in interviews, though controversies, including donations to contentious causes, have brought public scrutiny. Her more agreeable charitable work includes funding education for students from low income families. Okay, Aquarius, so I feel like, you know, the main message here for you is you want to consider these opportunities, perhaps from your past, that for some reason you have rejected or you've walked away from in the past. It's just something, you know, if you're an employer, though, you know, I'm just kind of getting this message, too, that you may want to consider these, these employees um, from your past that have walked away from from your business right um like if you have a business and if you you had maybe even a partner in the past um you may want to consider a partner that you've had in the past that has walked away you may you may need to work out that um, situation that happened with you guys and that may bring a lot of success here in the in um you know, for you in the month of August. Okay. So trust your intuition on it. Um, like it says here, financial gains are more than likely and tomorrow's breakthrough start day to day. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this message. Give me a thumbs up if you did. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel grow. I'm doing a giveaway for when I reach 3000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of that giveaway, drop me a comment that says 3k. And subscribe to my channel and that enters you into the giveaway. All right, guys, have a good month. I'll see you next time. Bye.